We can only ever find out the order of a reaction with respect to a particular reactant using experimental data. To do this, we have to look at how the rate of a reaction changes as the concentration of a reactant changes. If reaction rate on a y-axis is plotted against a concentration of reactant on an x-axis, then the shape of the graph obtained can be used to quickly identify whether a reaction is zero, first or second order with respect to that reactant. When the reaction is zero order with respect to the reactant, the graph shows a straight horizontal line. The rate of the reaction is always the same, regardless of the concentration of the reactant. When the reaction is first order with respect to the reactant, the graph shows a straight line with a positive gradient. The graph will pass through the origin and the constant gradient shows that the rate is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant. As in whatever factor the x-axis value, concentration, changes by, the y-axis value, rate of reaction, changes by the same factor. When the reaction is second order with respect to the reactant, the graph shows a curved line upwards. Like if the reaction is first order with respect to the reactant, the line must pass through the origin. However, this time the rate increases exponentially with the concentration given a curved line that starts to go up rapidly as concentration increases.